And cool. Hey guys. Hi. How's it going? Pretty good. Hi. Content crew here today. We have everybody. We have Sarah, Eric, Eric. Sunny, Sunny, Carlos, Carlos. Oh, Carlos. All right. How was your week? What exciting. do we have going on? Exciting. We have so many things going on. This yeah. Week. So many exciting things that. Um, I'm really, really excited. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so we had a contest last weekend, right? Or last week. And what happened with that, Eric? Well, it was super successful. So we ran a maze building contest yeah. with the with the uh, our schematics editor mm -hmm. in in Learn to Mod. If you go to the bottom of uh, the the homepage, you'll find schematics. And here you can make your own mazes. You can make your own houses. You can right. make your own anything really. And then just boop, plop it directly into Minecraft. So we awesome. we. Uh, we went to some of our uh, some of our fans yeah. and we asked them to build us a their best maze, and they sure did. They gave us their all, and yeah, that's what we're gonna Sweet. start off with today, showing off the five very best. Now there were a lot of entries, but we pulled it down to just these five. All right. Yeah. So yeah, you yeah. made a mod mm -hmm. um, that will allow us to run the mazes depending on what what word we we chat. Right. Right. Okay. So, should we try to, like, all join on to the same Learn to Mod server? Yeah, sure. Awesome. Let's do it. It's our... Let's see. I'm going to make this full screen for a sec. And multiplayer. And you guys can join me at... Let me see, let me see. I'm in... Slot 68, possibly. Am I going to join? Downloading my world? Oh, all right. Boy. So... Um, spell correctly. Tranquil Passport. T-R-A-N-Q-U-I-L dash P-A-S-S-P-O-R-T. Tranquil Passport. Somebody just joined me. Ah! Two people just joined me. Woo! Three people just joined me. Hey, guys. How's it going? Woo! Okay. Um, Carlos. Carlos is already Carlos, connected, everybody. What are you doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Carlos is throwing eggs and Eric is dancing, it looks Woo! like. <laughs> Get excited about mazes! <laughs> All right. So I'm going to run this mod, Maze Contest. Maze Contest. Okay. Right. So um, I ran it, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type first. first. All right. And this Bam. maze. Whoa. Whoa. This is a scary looking This maze. is pretty awesome. Nice. Whoops. Whoa, so there's like an obsidian door Ooh. here? Is that what that is? But I could just I break think, it open. Yeah, I think oh that's gosh, the exit, there's some. Actually. Oh, is but it? No, course. no, but there's more. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can go Whoa. through. Oh, this Whoa. Is tough. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to. I put them all uh, together, so I did cheat uh, a bit. I uh, looked at the mazes. Uh, I don't know how to get out of here. Ah! Oh, no, not that way. Somebody summoned something. Whoa, not that uh, way. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. What? <laughs> Wait, somebody Wait. summoned something? Yeah. That's probably took out what I mean. Yeah, who said woo? Oh. Oh, zombies. A zombie. Yeah, yeah so so we can cheat and fly up, and we can also cheat and, like, break walls. Yeah. We don't want to do that. Whoa, what is that creeper doing? It's my buddy. That's your buddy? His name's Carlito, yeah. <laughs> Carlito the creeper? Yeah. Wow, he was really looking for you. That's actually pretty cool. So he was kind of using his own pathfinding algorithm to find you. Oh man, that is so cool. I'm actually really curious how good he is. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be able to get through here. <laughs> I wonder if we can help him. Carlito. Okay, here you go. Go that way. There you go. It was a little too tight of a turn, it looked like. So I had to like break a little bit of your wall. Oh, this is so cool. I love little Carlito. He's pretty cute. Oh, I see where the exit is. Oh no, that's the entrance, your pumpkin. You're right, so that obsidian was mm. the exit. I just came in the exit. Okay. All right, all right, came in the wrong way. All right, let's check out this other one. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to type second. Ooh, 
Where are we? Oh, Whoa. spawned inside Whoa. of this one. Oh, look at all this TNT. <laughs> okay, so this maze, tell us a little bit about this one, Eric. So this one, so we put the contest wow. out to some of our fans in taking our classes. Yeah. And so this is one that was just somebody... Flew together. They was a first time with the schematics editor, so yeah. they just uh, they threw a lot of things together. They had TNT, they had water, they had cake. They didn't, you know, they they just really wanted to make something that popped. And yeah, it pops, you know, it really does. So I like the idea of making your walls out of TNT. Mm -hmm. So they didn't it's have time dangerous. to finish, but that's okay because this will give us ideas for for other mazes and schematics to build in the future. And I really love the effect of the water, how it just kind of flows down and then kind of disrupts it. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, gosh. Speaking of disruption, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Carlos. Carlos. <laughs> just checking if it worked. Yeah, the TNT works. Oh, my goodness. Uh, All right. Okay, let's let's go try another one. Uh, All right, so this time we're going to do third. Oh. Where are we? Oh, there it is. Ooh, there it right. is. Okay. Whoa. I like using the diamonds here. Um, this this person oh, also chest. didn't get to finish. Why don't you tell us about this one, Eric? Yeah. So this one, you see, they're going for a little bit of a like a darker, yeah. a moodier theme with these blocks and these chests, kind of more of a dungeon atmosphere. Once again, there wasn't a ton of time to work on these in class. Yeah. So a lot of people went home and worked on them. Um, at home, it's but yeah, they they use this kind of diverse block palette yeah. to really uh, to create a mood, or at least start creating mood. I love it, and you can see that they hid chests in here, and that's really cool. That gives me some ideas for for a mod that I want to make or a maze that I want to make. Okay, so should we try the third one? Mm -hmm. Or sorry, the fourth one. Fourth. All right. Let's Whoa. Do it. Oh! Whoa. Okay. Oh, um, this one is big. And it also kind of encompassed a lot. So why don't you tell us a little bit about this one? Wow. Uh, so this one, oh, this was a really cool one. So this one's big and tough, and this is just as straightforward, you know. The idea behind it was really, well, I don't know, I didn't make it, but um, it seems to be a very complex maze. You know, yeah. you can make mazes of all types. The simple ones like this, which just use cobblestone, right. but are uh, intricate. And the other ones, like we saw before, that try to go for more of a theme, yeah. more of a like a moody experience. So, so I like the idea of maybe like mixing, you know, the intricacy of a big maze mm -hmm. with the kind of theme behind the other mazes. That's totally. pretty. That's pretty awesome. Okay, fifth. I don't know why they just keep um, going on top of each other. What if, what if I run over here? Will yeah, that work? Yeah, let's run all let's the see. way away. Fifth. All right. Okay, where are you? Okay, I see it. I see it. These slimes are getting pretty annoying. Um, this one's pretty small. Huh. What's up with this one? This one, uh, this is a... I'm, I, I, you know what? It's, this, uh, it's... It looks like a Lego piece. It it's does. Lego. It also looks like the top of a castle. Or like, you know, yeah. like a tower in a maze. I could imagine building a maze and then having a tower and you kind of right. get up to the top here and maybe maybe this part's only one high and so you can kind of look over it or something. That's pretty cool. So uh, this is, uh, full disclosure, this is my maze. Uh. I, uh, I, I, I thought it was better at the time. But that's, <laughs> that's a, yeah. So schematic building looks tough then. Um... Because it, it looks like it might take a lot of time. Um, uh, Sunny, you were the one who first told me about schematic building. Yeah, so it's not hard at all. It's really simple. Are you sure? Because I'm yeah. not a very good artist. I'm not very good, you know, like, at designing things. So what what exactly am I supposed to be doing? No, it's real simple. So just go into the home page. Okay. And then scroll all the way down. And then I see schematics right there, here. Right? Right? So okay. you're going to click on that blue pencil right there. All right. It's going to take you to the schematic builder part. Cool. So this is like making your mod. Just give it a name and then click create. Okay. It's going to create a new block next to this it. This is just like making a new mod. Yeah. And awesome. Then, All right. So click. what does this stuff here mean? So the first part where it says yeah. the slash JS, yeah. that would be the command to paste it in Minecraft. So you oh. run that and just paste it. That is very cool. Or okay. you can make a mod and put those blocks in a main function. Oh, and that's what Eric did over here. Right. I see. Okay. So then we actually have to make it. Whoa. Uh -huh. Okay. So we have all of these. Yeah, so you can scroll all the way down. Okay. And it's, I think it's most, wow. if not all of the blocks and like, Man. I you can see it exist in Minecraft. 
This is pretty awesome. So if anyone is on the Twitch right now, y'all should give us ideas for what to build in the comment section. Um, what do you guys think? I, I, I kind of want to make like a shape or maybe like a big structure that I could just paste in the middle of my world. Um, I don't know. I really like cats. Maybe I can make a cat head. Ooh, a cat head. Yeah. yeah. So I have a black cat. So what, what kind of material should I use maybe? Oops, I mean, black wool. Black wool, yeah. Yeah, so you black have, like, wool. like every color for wool, so... So should I I just click it? You just select it and then just move their cube, your green cube, Whoa. wherever you want and just right or left click it. Okay, left click. Oh, okay. That's pretty awesome. And then, okay, and then I can scroll in and out. If you, Whoa. If you press okay. W, it'll zoom in. Uh-huh. Oh. Or S to zoom out. Very cool. A and D to move left or right. Awesome. And if for any reason uh, you make a mistake, Oop, which I just did, you uh, hold Alt, okay, Alt and then just oh, left click it. that's very cool. So when I wasn't holding the Alt key, I can't go over the block I already placed. Right. But when I press it, it lets me go over, and I just left click. Correct. Awesome. Okay. So um, remember, guys, don't. Don't make fun of me because I'm not very good at, at making stuff. Oh, see, what did I just do there? You probably uh, hit space or shift. Oh, That's how it would okay. Take the camera. Got it. Or if you hold control, yeah. Uh, it'll also oh, like, rotate. Oh, it follows my mouse. Yeah. And then I just press control again to stop. Okay. You're a quick learner. This is, well, I mean, this is pretty easy. If you forget, you can scroll up on the right side. Uh huh. And you have all the instructions right uh, there. Oh, and I also have to save. I'm going to save now just in yes. case. Okay. Because otherwise that will go away, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if I kind of want to make like uh, maybe like a rounded head kind of. Oh, man, this is going to be tough. Okay. So over here, how do I get over to that side? Whoa. Uh, 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 it's all right. It takes a while to this is kind of scary. Okay, then. all right, <laughs> there, there we go. go. Oops, that's not what I wanted. So then Alt. Man, this is pretty tricky. Um, oh, that is what I wanted. I don't want that one and that one. Okay, man. So making the schematics, it takes a little while and maybe a little bit of practice with all of the um, the movements that you have to do, but right. it looks pretty easy, actually. It's really easy, and it's very useful because if... For any reason, let's say you build that in your Minecraft world. Yeah. And then somebody, maybe like Carlos, destroys it. Oh, Carlos. You can have a copy of it and just repaste it. Oh. That way you don't have to build it again by hand. Awesome. You save a copy of it and paste it wherever you want. Okay. So I'm going to try to build it like kind of rounded. Oops. You should add some TNT blocks to it. You know, TNT just, just, blocks? It would look cool. But cats don't have TNT. They're pretty explosive. What if I <laughs> make them the eyes TNT blocks? That would be cool. Should I do that? Yeah. Sunny, what's your favorite blocks to use in your schematic builder? Favorite blocks? Hmm. It's a tough question to have so many favorite ones. Um, am I doing this right? Let's see. I need to make like a curve. There. That kind of looks like a head, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. So then I have to kind of fill it in. Mm -hmm. And this isn't too hard. All right. Uh, a little tricky. There we go. Okay. So you think I should use TNT for his eyes? Actually, my cat's a girl. So her eyes. Um, so now how do I oh, go down maybe? Ah, to do up, what? Up. So, uh, 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 I'm not very good at this. Okay, all right, okay, so go down, look up, and press. control. Okay, there we go. There are her eyes. <laughs> uh, sure, why not? <laughs> looks um, just like a cat. It totally looks like a cat. Where is my black wool? There we go. Okay, so then just fill this in really quickly. Da, 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 da. Man, drones are a lot faster at building than I am. Yeah, but you can be more precise than a drone. That's This would true. take a lot of code. Be like, well, you gotta blah, 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 but you can just click. That's so true. And not only that, but I can kind of see how it's going as mm -hmm. I'm building it, right? Yeah. 
So I really like that. What about a yellow nose? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of, it looks like babies. <laughs> <laughs> It, it looks, looks like, like a. It does look uh, like Squidward or like a villager. Yeah. Um. Okay. What about a light gray whisker? Oh yeah. <laughs> um. She remember, is, uh, guys, I'm not super great at this. The pumpkin blocks his mouth. Oh. So it's the month of October. Where are Halloween. pumpkins? Pumpkins. Ha 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 ha. That totally looks like a cat, right, guys? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sweet Perfect. Just right? That. Just the pointy ears. Oh, yeah, pointy ears. Okay, go up, look down, go up, up, stop. Okay. There you go. Oh, I'm getting so good at this. Yeah? Man. It took you like two minutes tops. Wow. Well, you're a pretty good teacher, Sonny. I know. <laughs> All right, and then maybe put some pink in his ears. Now he kind of looks like a bunny. <laughs> Okay. All right, some pink wool. Yay! My you bunny know. cat. Great. <laughs> okay, so now what do I do? Make sure I save. Click save again. All, All right. right, and then I just go back. Uh huh. Yeah, since it's already saved. Oh. So let's just test this out. I want to try to to run this one. Okay. Just copy that text. Okay. Go back to Minecraft. Open your chat. And just paste it. All right. Let's see if this works. So chat, and then I just paste it. Uh-huh. Whoa. Uh -huh. That is so awesome. Great. Wow. There is my bunny rabbit. Slash cat. <laughs> oh, bunny man. Cat. Bunny cat. <laughs> hmm. Does anyone else on the Twitch have ideas for what to build? Maybe, oh, <laughs> Carlos, why are you attacking my bunny cat? <laughs> she said you could fix it. <laughs> Does wool set on fire by any chance? No, don't set him on fire, my poor bunny cat. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no, no that would be really fun, though. I wonder what our viewers could come up oh. with for Halloween decorations oh. of a world. What if we had a hall... Where did my bunny cat go? <laughs> well, I could just make another it, one. Ha 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 ha. Bunny cat, well, bunny cat, bunny cat. Good thing you built on a schematic. Bunny cat, ha 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 ha. I can make all the bunny cats. Now bunny the coolest cats, thing, if you want cats. Carlos to have just thousands and thousands to blow up, you could put that in a drone <laughs> and you could just repeat oh. the drone. Having a giant Wait, you can put a schematic in a drone? You can put a schematic in a drone. What? I'm glad you asked. What? <laughs> That's Hashtag, crazy! You can do it. Oh! <laughs> that's okay, so good. bunny cat uh -huh. drone. That's yes. what I'm gonna call this. Okay, so B bunny cat C drone. D. Hashtag BCD? Has Hashtag BCD. Okay, what do I do? I always okay. need a main function. I, I remembered that from last time. Okay, then what? Then all you need to do is create a drone. Do you remember okay. how to create a drone? Um, drone, new uh -huh. drone. Good, and what's the second piece? Variables. Name it. Name it. D. New variable. Name it D. Okay. Drone. Cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then what? Then you are going to make a uh, loop. A loop. A okay. Loop. That's under loops. Uh -huh. How many times? Ten Let's times? Let's say ten times. Okay. Yeah. So then... When, so what you want to repeat every ten times is, bam, you put the schematic in your world. I then, saw that, Underworld. Yeah, Underworld. There you it is. You paste schematic right okay. there. Okay. And then I just need my schematic name. Uh-huh. Okay, I don't remember what I named it. Let's see. Um, wow, that's kind of slow. My internet's being slow. But I, the location, what location should I should I do it at? Uh, you should do it yourself. To myself? Yeah. So that you can always be near them. Well, Oops. you can't do that at you. You have to do it at your location. Oh. You gotta go to location of and entities, and then me and players. So what's the point of the drone then? The point of the drone is to make a lot of them. So oh. okay, it's happening at yourself. Yeah, but it's just you're gonna put as many as you can okay. on so, the world like that. Then what? Then you want to make sure the drone moves forward every time. Because if you just do this, it'll paste it in the same spot. But if, if I don't move forward, 
then won't it always paste it at me anyways? Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, so you Sunny, want to use the do location do? of the drone. Oh, yeah. not me? Not not for this case, no. Okay. So, not me. And then location of drone, his name is D, so... Mm -hmm. Okay, so, I make D. Right. And then I paste my schematic mm -hmm. at the location of the drone, and then I tell the drone to move. Should I have him only move one time? Yes, because mm -hmm. since it's in a loop... It's going to keep moving forward as many times as it looks. Oh, so okay. those two lines are going to be repeated ten times. So thank you, Sunny, so much. And this is why I love coding with friends, because Eric and I were trying to figure this out, and Eric loves to just explore all the different kinds of blocks that we have, and there are just so many that sometimes it gets confusing. Right. Thank goodness for Sunny. Thank God. What What would we have done, Sunny, if we didn't have you in the room with us? Is there know. another way that we could get help? Uh, yes, you, you, in the website, yeah? there's a section called Forum, oh. and it's there under the social tab, and you can go in there, and there's a bunch of people who ask questions, oh. and then we help them, and we answer them. Oh, yeah, look, this person had a problem with function inputs, right? and with the particle effect. Oh, so I could just ask a question here. Right, or well, you can, before asking, search to see if anybody else has Oh, asked that's that probably a good idea. So if I search something like schematics, uh -huh. then maybe somebody else, oh, somebody else has been doing stuff with schematics. Right. Okay, very cool. Oh, look, wow, they have some complicated code. Man, that's crazy. Okay, that's good to know. But luckily we have you here, so we're all good. Of course. Click mod, go back into our world, and oh my gosh, what is going on with my world? I saw a spider. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. Carlos, you and your creeper, buddy. Yeah. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go into my mods, and I'm going to grab my bunny cat drone. Uh-huh. My And I'm going to right-click. Whoa. There you go. Whoa. So 3D cat face. That is Whoa. so awesome. So much cat. Wow. I didn't even have to build that whole thing in the schematic builder either. Nope. That is awesome. Very, very cool. And you could just have that going on for miles. Wow. It could just be endless cat face. Wow. It makes me think of those really cool erasers I used in third grade. <laughs> yeah. I remember those. Did you blow up those erasers too? No, but they didn't catch on fire as easily. Oh. oh. You probably don't want to play with fire and erasers yes. anyways. No. That seems kind of scary. Am I going to blow up? why can't I throw eggs? I don't know. What is happening? I think everything died. It might have because I just ran it to go 100 times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 things aren't moving and uh, I can't throw eggs. And clear no, uh, uh, Time set day is not uh, working either. There you go. Oh, there we go. Uh, Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Whoa! I'm gonna that burrow through its nose. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna run through its ears. Run! <laughs> this is crazy! So oh nice. my gosh! That is one fat cat bunny drone <laughs> thing. And my other one blew up again. Who's I bet I know who did that one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I blame Carlitos. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. You and Carlitos. All right, this has been really, really cool. But I have heard Carlos was telling me that I could make it so that no one can break through a maze that I want to build. That is very true. Because I was just breaking through the walls to get out. Yes. But I, I, I don't want to do that anymore. So how, how can I do it so that no one can break through it? Well, something else you were doing was just flying over it because you were in creative mode. Yes, but that too. So how would I do it so that I can't fly over it and I can't break? Um, so this is going to be impossible maze. Yes. That's going to be what I call maze, impossible maze. <laughs> Hashtag. Hashtag impossible maze. Hash brown impossible maze. <laughs> Hash brown. <laughs> <laughs> so, so make a main function. Yes. And then what I want to do is the same thing as before. Let's see if I remember. So first I need to go into world because that's where my schematics are. And then into text and location. Should I do a drone or should I do me? You want to 
teleport the drone to your location. So I do want to make a drone. Yes, you okay. do want to make a drone. All right. Drone. And do teleport the drone to Actually, me. move. Just move the drone to me. Yes. Okay, so move D to the location of me. Yes. Okay. Now, that will move the drone to the location. Like torso of the player, so you want to move the drone down once. Okay. So it's at ground level. Then Good you to paste know. your schematic and at location of D. Yeah. Okay. Actually, that is my crazy maze. Okay. Yeah, that's mine. Yes. Is it single layered or? It's single layered. Okay. That means you want to move the drone up once. Okay. Then paste it again, so you can just oh. duplicate that block. And ta-da, let's test that out before we move on to the code. Oh, that's a good idea. So do you always test your code when you're still writing it? Because I usually just sit there and write the whole thing, but then nothing ever works. Yes, properly. I've actually had plenty of bad experiences writing a bunch of code, then finding out something doesn't work. Oh. I have to look through all of those blocks and find out where I mess up. Yeah. Just to save time. OK, right. so we just test it out by doing this. Mm -hmm. Ooh, cool. nice! Comes out pretty nice, but yeah. you can also fly over it and try placing blocks. Let's say, let's pretend you were in survival. Okay. You can go into your inventory and da -da -da, get a block, place it. Now step on it. Ha -ha -ha -ha. You can just walk over the top of the maze. Yep. That's no fun and that's cheat. So, what? <laughs> there are actually this. Of course, you would know how to cheat. Yes. You can actually blow up the maze too if <laughs> that's another way to cheat. Wow, it's fun being destructive like Carlos. Okay. Yeah. Then, um, so how do I make it so that people can't cheat in my maze? In the same mod that you created, uh -huh. that paste, paste this, 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 paste this, this, this? Yes, uh, your maze. Yeah. You can write out a little bit more code to okay. prevent certain things from happening. We saw that placing blocks, you could use that for cheating. Yeah. So whenever a block is placed, we want to replace that with air. Oh. How about breaking through the maze? That's another way to cheat. Right. So whenever we break a block, we want to replace it with that block type. Oh. Now, this is going to take a little bit of code, but and let's create a new function. OK. And we want to get, uh, let's name it. Don't okay. place blocks. Yes. OK. OK, and we want to get under events. Yeah. In our main function, the third block moving down, do blank when blank happens. Yeah. That is going to, yep, perfect. So don't place block. So this has to be a block place, place event. event. Yes. Okay, and we want to do function don't place blocks. Mm -hmm. Oops. Um, that won't fit in there. No, under miss, which is short for miscellaneous, I believe. Uh -huh. The oh. third one that says. Uh, this fourth, one or this one? Function main. Okay, why actually, don't I use that one? We can also use that one, actually. What is the difference? One you can type in, the other one is already selected oh, for you. Oh, I don't want to have to type it in because I might misspell it. Yes, that okay. is a pretty big risk. All right, so now when a block place event happens, I do the function don't place blocks. And what don't place blocks is going to do uh -huh. is replace the block you placed with air. That okay. was a weird sentence. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we want to create a new drone. Okay. And that is going to be the anti-cheating drone. Okay. So we can name it any letter of the alphabet. Don't and cheat. New drone. Okay. Okay. Now we want to move the drone. Actually, we need info in that function. Info. What is info. that? Info. See that star right there? This one. I'm going to click on that. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Input name, drag that into the bracket cool and change X to info. Okay, and there's, why am I doing that? In all of the Minecraft events, there's a bunch of information with each event. Uh huh. Um, we can have the player that placed the block, the type of block that was placed, the location of the block that was placed, and the parameter info actually helps us get uh, some of that information. Oh, I see. So how do I get that information out of info? We want to use a variable. Okay. Scroll down, variable. Cool. We want to name that block placed. Cool. Now under miscellaneous again, or misc, the second block, items defaults. Okay. Yeah. We want to drag that in there, and we're setting block place to info's block. 
Man, you three are brilliant. Thank you. We try. <laughs> cool. Now we want to move that drone we created, the okay. don't cheat drone. Uh, yes. Move don't cheats okay. to the location of. I'm getting pretty good at this too. Uh, block placed. Yes. Soon you will be a pro. Man, this is awesome. Okay. Cool. Once that block is there, okay, we want uh, don't cheat drone uh -huh. to place a block for us. Oh. Now that block is going to be air. So under materials, we can find air. So Great. we get the the place that you just, or we get the block that mm -hmm. was just placed, and then we say go to that location and place air. Mm -hmm. Oh, very cool. This makes total sense. Should we try it? Yes, let's give it a try. Oh, I'm really excited now. Okay. So I ran it, and then if I go back to this one and I run it, now if I try to place a block, oops. Oh, that was a breaking block. Uh, that's so cool. Oh no my gosh. No cheating. Okay, but we can still cheat the other way by breaking blocks. Yes, we want to. We have a similar approach to that. All right, should I try to figure it out? Do you I'm, want to give it a shot? I think so, because I'm going to do the same thing that we did for removing a block. It has to be the same kind of thing, right? Yes. Okay, so I need a function, and I'm going to call this one don't remove blocks. And I'm assuming we also need an info. Even though that's kind of confusing still, I'm just going to try copying what we did over here to see if I can make it work the same. Um, when we did events, I saw that there was a block break, so that's probably what we want to do. And where was the this block function one again? Miss. Oh, that's right. Okay. And we don't want to type it in, and we want to do don't remove blocks. Okay. So that's kind of the same thing. I probably want another drone. So this one I'm going to call don't cheat still and make a new drone, okay? And then I probably want to do the same kind of thing as here. I want to get the block that was just removed. So I'm going to copy that line too. I'm going to call it block removed. And where was the info's block? That was also under misc. Oh, gosh, misc. That's a new one for me. All right, info's block. And then... Before we move on, you also want yeah? to get the block type. Oh. Why do I want to get the block type? Because block has a lot of information in and of itself. It's uh -huh. just saying it's a general block in Minecraft. But okay. if we are going to replace a block that is broken, we have to replace it with that specific type of block. Oh. We don't want to break a, gar a grass block and replace it with diamond or something That's else. That's true. Okay, so then I need to do block type. And then how do I get the block type though? Do I just do info type? Instead of getting information out of info, we want to get that out of the block removed variable. So using the oh. same items, defaults, yeah. So I can use anything, so I can actually get mm -hmm. the type of the block removed. That's so awesome. So now what? Now. I should probably move to, the drone. Yes, move the drone. Totally remembered that to the location of um, block removed yes okay all right and I want to move the drone don't cheat still mm-hmm okay correcto and then I need to place a block of type but oh we do have that's why we do that yes. oh I get it so place block of type and this time we do a variable and we do block type. Yep. That's so awesome. So it's pretty much the same, a little bit more complicated. All right, should we test it? Yes. Okay, I'm excited. This is gonna be an impossible maze. All right, so let's go somewhere else. Now I remember once when I was using events and then things started happening twice, um, somebody told me to do something with this little thing right here. The repeater, yes. Why Why do I have to do that, Sonny? When you click that, it's going to clear the events. Because every time you run a mod with yeah. an event, it'll register that twice or as many times as you run it. 
Oh. So you never want to have multiple events, or you can have multiple events, but not in the same, not the same mod. I see. So if I made an event that says when I click on grass, spawn a bunny, and then I ran that mod twice, and every time I click on grass, it would spawn two bunnies. Yes, because you run it, oh. you ran it twice. Oh. That's why has that in his memory to do it two times because you told it to. I see. Sometimes I just do things because my teachers tell me to, but I don't really think about them. So thanks for explaining that one to me. Okay. Four. Impossible maze. Run it. Okay. So now if I try to place a block, it doesn't get replaced. And then if I break a block, oh, this is so cool. Ha ha ha. Now no one can cheat except for you can still fly. But, you know. This is cool. So, can you guys come over to my maze? You yes. can teleport to me if you want. And someone placed me inside of. Uh, I put him yeah. in a timeout. What? Oh, what am I How is he in timeout? Out? I thought there was funny looking lines. All right. <laughs> oh my god! What? <laughs> How did you put them in timeout, Sunny? You want to try it? Wait. Yeah, I want to put them in timeout. Okay, you gotta run my book. Let me just do it to you, so you can see what happens. So let me go, where are you? I'm right below you. So I have my mod. Okay. And I'm going to run it, and now you're in the cage. You're what? The oh my gosh. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. This is your mod? Yep. Oh, and since I have my event running, I can't break out of it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's okay, because I can clear events, right? Yeah. Don't worry, I'll save you. Oops. Where is it? Wait, how come it's not working? Do you also have it so that it doesn't let you? No, I should be able to. I can go ahead and just... Oh, uh, there we go. Wait, yeah. Yeah, it's working. How thick is this? There we it's go. It's just fine. Wow. wow. Oh, thanks, Carlos. <laughs> I'm a bit late, but I got it. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so I'm going to run this thing again because I, I had to break it. And let's try it over here and four. Okay. Okay, are you guys checking this out? Yep. So can you guys, you guys can't cheat either, right? Mm -hmm. I think. I just cheated. What? Yep. Yay, it's it. just you. Yep. Wait, how come it's cheat. just me? Because. Because you're running. You're the one who started the mod. Oh. Yes. So, so you can make it so that your mod affects everybody, but that's going to be a bit of legwork. Oh, mm -hmm. man. Like I have to run over to Sweden and ask the Minecraft guys to do it? Probably. Notch is the only human who knows how to do it. Oh, man. Or, Not even or, Sunny? Um, <sighs> fine, I'll tell you how. Wait, you know how? Yeah. Oh, sweet. How do I do it? So, uh, you have to actually... Uh, have to make a list that contains all of the users in oh, your server. Man. That way you can apply it to everybody. Everybody. There. Right. This seems pretty intense. Maybe you can teach me how to do this and then we'll post it next time. Okay. Because next time we're running our zombie mod, right? Mm -hmm. You yeah. guys are going to show us all the progress you've made on that. Oh, I'm so, so excited. And maybe in that one, you guys can make it so that we don't break through, because then we don't cheat, right? Mm. Oh, yeah, man, I'm excited. Good. So how about anybody on our Twitch stream? I saw that somebody wanted us to make a car. That sounds pretty awesome. Now, can we make a car that actually, like, drives? Or in the schematic builder? I mean, I've never really seen that kind of thing in, in Minecraft. Hmm. There are certainly ways to do that. It yeah? is possible. Yes, it is possible. Ooh. Maybe I'm going to try to figure out how to make a car that moves. Because I can figure out how to make a car in the schematic builder, though it's not going to be very pretty, you know, because sometimes hey, I don't... Don't, I don't sell yourself how. short. Well, it's sometimes just really hard, you know? I thought your cat looked Instagrammable. Really? Yeah. Put a few filters on that. Oh man, are you gonna are you gonna hashtag my cat and I tweet will, it and Instagram it? I will hashtag your cat. Let oh us, my gosh, I can't wait to check it out. It's <sighs> gonna look. Does that mean great. it's gonna end up on the Learn to Mod Twitter page? Yes, it will. We have a Twitter page. Oh man, you can check us out at at Learn to Mod. Uh, that's our Twitter handle. 
Yeah. Learn to mod. So if I do it, uh huh, it will show up here oh. with filters galore. Oh man. Okay, I'm totally gonna send you my cat. Oh, please do. Okay, and then and then if I try to make a car. Maybe Sunny can try to teach me how to make it move later. Mm, yeah. Sure. All right. Fine. All right. Well, I mean, you're the only one. I know. It's, it's dragging. We're going to learn all of your knowledge, Sunny. I can't wait. Um, I loved learning from you guys today. Uh, you guys taught me a lot. I, I, I never did this kind of stuff before. It's pretty crazy. Um, next week, we're going to do zombies. Yes. Everyone's favorite, so look out for the hashtag zombie apocalypse apocalypse LTM. Oh man. Hashtag content crew. Hashtag content crew. Oh man. Alright, and and Carlos. Yes. What are you gonna do this week? I'm gonna figure out the best and most efficient way to blow up zombies because <laughs> that's the only way you can get rid of zombies. <laughs> All right, so you're going to protect us. Yes. And Sunny's going to try to make it so that we can't break out of our, our world. Right. And Eric is going to make it so that any cool maze that we have can be placed at the top. So if I spend this week making a maze, I can maybe get it into the mod. Not maybe, definitely. Oh, awesome. It's that easy. Awesome. All right, I'm super excited. Um, any of our viewers have any comments, comment below and check out the Learn to Mod Twitter mm -hmm. for my bunny cat. Bunny cat on our Learn to Mod Twitter. Check out our blog at blog.learntomod.com for a Ooh. recap of today and where you can get the link to all the awesome mods and mazes that we, uh, that awesome. we use today. And of course, check out mod.learntomod.com for all the coolest, latest mods, maps, schematics, from our awesome community. Hey, look, there we are. That's us. <laughs> there we is. Hey, guys. <laughs> oh, weird, I'm not pictured. Huh. <laughs> All right, see you later, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.